Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page two. Page two. There's going to be two flaps. There's going to be um, a fold over flap and just a single flap. This is four and a half, four and a half by eight. It's going to get attached to the bottom. And this is, let me double check, eight and a half, eight and a half by eight. Eight and a half by eight. And um, we're gonna put the, the scored flange down like this and it's gonna close. So let's go ahead and start. I thought I'd put tape on there, but I did this one. So let's go ahead and start with the lower flap. And I wrote myself a little note there so I don't forget I need a magnet on this. Again, we're on page two. This is uh, Stamperia Cosmos. Infinity. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna turn it around just so I can see the two corners. Burnish that and add it. Again, this is eight and a half tall, eight inches wide, the same width as the uh, page itself. Okay, so it's going to open like this. Okay, so I've already placed a magnet here. Let's see if I can't get it to stick. There we go. And leave that like that. This is going to close like so. I'm going to attach this piece. And so there's already a magnet here to attract on this side. So this is um, six inches wide. Um, I used, and I've showed you guys this tool before. I used this tool. You unfasten the middle and you can pull this out. And adjust the size. And so this is six inches. So you need a six inch round circle or a six by six rectangle or square um, to finish this this page. So oops, it's not picking up my magnet. It's not quite sticky enough. There we go. I'm going to keep something in between so it doesn't do that again. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select my papers so that I can add my circle. So I've got my um, papers trimmed out. So just let me get them in order real quick. So there's the cover. And then these are the inside. I think I've got this one on top. Top, bottom. There it goes. Okay. So that's just my stick. So when this is fully opened, this is what you're gonna see. This is from the 12 by 12. And I've already cut through my <laughs> my pack, so I don't know if it's 12 by 12 um, collector or 12 by 12 background. This collection has been really hard for me to tell the difference. They all look like backgrounds to me. I'm sure if I, I set them side by side, I go, oh yeah, I can see the difference. But for some reason, I struggle. I think I might have to retrim this middle one. Something tells me I didn't get it trimmed right. I'm going to set that aside because I definitely need to get my magnet on there before. So because these are four, four, and four, 
these are just under four. So you, I took a 12 inch, made it eight inches wide, and then cut these three, four inch slices out. So you get um, one whole page, um, 12 by eight. And that looks all right. one more time. It's just some double-sided tape that I'm using. And then instead of pulling it straight up, I'm going to slide it off to one side and then it, it won't uh, pull back off. Okay, that's our middle piece. Let's see how, if I need to trim it. Oh, actually, it looks good. So we're ready to ink it, take it out. And then here's the last piece. Okay, so I don't want to glue this down until we get the circle in. So I still need to dress these two sides, and we're going to attach the circle. Okay, so we can put the base down. This is the picture that I chose for the base. And this is from the 8x8 collection. To ink it. This is what I was going to do with the cover. So let's go ahead and do the cover. It doesn't need. It doesn't need a magnet. I'm going to finish this thought. And this is an eight by eight, and it's cut in half. So there's the top half. Here's the bottom half.
hold. Did I trim it? Yeah, I did. First, I thought it was too wide. Okay, there we go. So now we still need something here and something here. So I'm going to go back to my 8 by 8s and see what I have. That's a small version of what we used on the other side. This is, I really like this print, but I've already used it somewhere. And this is just odd. I just struggle with that. I don't know if that would look good. This would be half a moon on either side. That works. Let's do this one. Let's do the woods because there's wood here. So this needs to be, I should measure it just to, just to be sure. So now it's the right width. I put this real quick. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Double check. Looks good. I hope everybody's doing good. If you haven't been over to the shop lately, go check out the two new collections uh, that are now shipping. Um, Graphic 45 Hello Pumpkin. Uh, two collections from Graphic and two from Stamperia. And um, Letters to Santa. I'm like, where's the other piece? <laughs> I want to make sure I've got this in the right order. It goes like that. Okay, right? No. That's how it goes. I was lining up that big knot. Okay, we can put this one down. No, we can't. This one needs a magnet. This one I can put down. So here's our circle. And only half of it's going to be exposed. So it's going to be roughly centered. Put it quick reference line for glue. So just a little bit of this um, designer paper gets tucked behind that panel. Oops. I did this wrong. Did I? Yes. I do need to put this down first. That's okay. I'll work fast. Oops, sorry about that. Um, I had my letters upside down, so I did have to switch it around. I have to work really fast. It's warm today here in San Diego. Okay. And then the moon is going to go, this round circle is going to go right on top. Ah. Of this. Okay. 
directions, looking mostly left to right. Okay, now I have a temporary magnet here, so we can put uh, some sticky stuff on it and put it on this side. Maybe. It didn't work. This will. Oops, so much glue on my fingers. It's sticking to me. Now we can add this this way. Almost done. And then this is going to close like that. So we'll open. This opens. And it opens like that. So you get this sort of pop up effect. Um, and you can put a rectangular um, photo um, up here that sort of comes off the edge with that in the background, and one down here, or you can center a photo. Okay, and then this is the flap that holds it all together. And remember, there's a magnet under here too. There we go. All together now. Okay, thanks for uh, tuning in. Again, this is page two of um, Stamperia Infinity. Uh, Stamperia Cosmos Infinity. I'll be back soon with page three. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and I'm back, and we're working on, um, what are we working on? Page three? Yeah, page three. So we just finished page two, and I went ahead and added these two little medallions that I cut out of um, just the regular cardstock um, and added them there. So it makes it a little bit more, um, oops, I should have put them on this side, a little bit more obvious that you've got this function. So I'm going to set that aside and actually I should have glued it on this side. I put them on the top, it should have been on the bottom. So I may come through and lift that and glue it down here and just make sure it overlaps. At any rate, um, when you're, if you decide to add something, make sure you open it and figure out which way your hinges are working. So before I move on, I want to show you, because it's on this side, when I go to open it, it won't go flat. And that's why it should have been on this side. That was just a mistake I made. Not thinking it through, it should just rest on this side. So if I can remove it without tearing the paper, I will. And if I can't, I'll probably remove I'll figure out something. Um, otherwise, this won't open. You won't get your pop-up um, the way I had planned it. So looks like I didn't glue the whole thing down. That's good. Um, if you don't have uh, a spatula or um, a tool like this, get yourself one. It'll save you a lot of heartache. Um, even if I tear this paper, I can put a smaller circle here to cover my mistake, which I might have to do. So you guys bear with me and we'll see what the result is here in just a second. If I would have done that just a few seconds earlier, I don't think it would have been attached. It's really stuck right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, yeah, it's taking the paper with it. 
from that spot. Oh, more than I wanted. Okay. Uh, so this is going to go like this. I'm going to have this glued down here and I'm going to shovel it over to the side and I'm going to find something else to put there. So hang tight. We will solve the problem. Whatever I put on this side has to stop at this hinge. I kind of like the color. So I'm going to cut that out real quick. And this is from the collection pack, collectibles pack, and see if this is the right scale before I fuss around with it too much. Just want to make sure it's going to cover up my boo-boo. Obviously a rough cut. Yes, yes it will. So that's what I'll do. Mm, I'm still going to show some of that. So it's not, what I'm going to do is make it a partial. Okay. I have a plan to make up for the previous lack of plan. <laughs> so I'm going to put some cardstock on the back of this, mount it, trim it one more time. And then I'm going to cut it where it makes sense. Looks like it's going to be about right there and there. But let's mount it first. So let's get some. I don't even. Do I have to mount it? Let me just ink it and see what it looks like. Cover up that white core stock. Kind of like red, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to put black on it. Okay, I'm going to put in my trimmer, knock that little edge off, ink it, and glue it. Okay, let's test it. There's a little bit of white showing right there and I'm okay with that because there's other white showing. Get that lump out. Let me ink the bottom. Oh, that was a rookie mistake, guys. Oh well, it happens. There's always a way there's always a way. Unless you're completely out of paper. Yeah, it's a warm day. Toasty. Okay. Now this goes like this. This can come up over because this opens first and it doesn't fold back out. Now because I made a mess of this, I'm going to have to put something on the back, which I can do real quick. Now I know it needs to be a little bit smaller then the trace, so I'm going to cut on the inside of the line. And I'm just freehand. If I wasn't being so lazy, I'd try to dig out a punch. Okay, it looks like that's going to cover it. Yep.
it's only got to cover what's peeking out, so I don't have to worry about everything. Just made it too oblong. There's some lettering, so I'm just trying to crank it around so it's right side up. All right, problem solved. There you go. Of course, with all that, could have wound up putting magnets under here instead of on the inside, but I hadn't designed it, so there we go. Now it's functioning again. So just remember, when you have this kind of a pop-up and you put something on the top flap, it cannot go past that score line or it won't function. Okay, I can set this aside. Now we're working on 